Today marks one of the most controversial state holidays within Alabama. Eliana Capion joins us live in studio with supporters and opponents' viewpoints. Eliana, good evening. Good evening, Paige. Yes, for many, today may be just another day. However, for Alabama, today is a state holiday. It is the Confederate Memorial Day. Celebrating the Confederate soldier that gave their heart and soul to protecting what they felt like was their family and their, their state their country. Mary Ellen Sanders, president of the General William C. Oates 1342 chapter of the Daughters of Confederacy, honors fallen relatives of the Civil War. Confederacy was a group of states that got together and seceded from the Union. Alabama is one of few southern states that continue to officially recognize Confederate Memorial Day as a state holiday, but not all Alabamians believe it is the right way to remember those who died. For those who want to uh, uh, celebrate they can go to a museum on this day or whatever day they select, but not let it be a state holiday. Bernard Simulton, the president of the Alabama NAACP, worries this state holiday is sending the wrong message. We think that the Confederate, if it's to be memorialized in any kind of way, it needs to be in a museum where people can celebrate and go and, and, and take time to uh, remember that period in history, that dark period in history in a museum and not out in public where everyone has to view and see what the Confederate, uh, uh, remember what the Confederate did to African Americans. Some believe as part of their heritage, they will continue to celebrate it for years to come. We want to honor our ancestors uh, that I, I've never seen my ancestors that fought in the Civil War. Alabama celebrates it because we have a rich heritage for veterans in our state. So while today's state holiday for some is one of heritage, for others, it's a dark part of history. Paige? All right, thank you, Ileana, for that report this evening.